loss out of your system at this point? Uh, not really. Uh, still on my mind. It's still in the back of my head. You know, you can't really get over a 38 to zero loss. So, yeah, it's still in the back of my mind. It's just motivation to work hard, so it won't happen again. You went through last year. Were there things you learned about? You know, I mean, it's a lot different, I guess, when you know you've had a year of experience and then you go through another year. And what, was there lessons from that year as well? Every year I try to improve more. So every year I feel like I just learn the game a little, a little bit more. So that's what that's always what I'm trying to do. Just to prove I don't care how much, as long as I get better every year. Was, was that game the Cotton Bowl? You know, something. It was a big help. I can't lie. Those the SEC they O line was real good. I had to. Maneuver my way, change up a couple of ways how I played, and it showed me different things I need to do to, to improve my game just from that game right there. What is your attitude without Shalik and Joel and LT and all those guys around any more changes? Um, people look at me more of a leader, but my attitude is still the same. Still out here trying to have fun with my teammates, D line teaching players. I've always been like that though, so it ain't nothing, nothing much really changed. Well, people, is, it, is it too much to ask when you're people are talking about you? Maybe the best D lineman in the country, and you're, you're changing positions. Are those expectations? Is that a bit, a bit much for a guy to change positions? No, I think I'm the best D lineman in the country. I can't lie. So, um, no, nah, it's not. If you want it, you ask for it. You got to be willing to take on the pressure, I guess. Were you targeted a little bit last year? I mean, I know a lot of people in the state that like that will make yourself Was that the case last year already? A little bit, but we had Shalik and we had LT, so they had to. You couldn't just target on anybody really, because anybody could get off at any time. You feel like you have to get ready to see a little bit more of a double team this year with the less experienced guys around you. Um, not how not how our, our second team and how are we looking right now. It's, if you if you're gonna try to target me, it's somebody else that's gonna be getting off. So. Who else has impressed you? Coach team. Um, you know all our, all the starters. They, they we got it down, but. Keontae, Ray, Raquan, uh, Pete, Pete really impressed me just in his pass rush. So, uh, they showing me a lot more than the, they they improving a lot quicker than what I thought they would. Is in yes, the and he actually doing his thing. What's, what's the most what does he do difficult? Well? What does he do? Um, he long. His arms and real strong upper body. He get off. He shoot. He pretty much like a bully. He shoot straight and get his hands right on. And can't nobody really handle him from there. What's the most difficult part about making that transition to end? Um, just learning the, new, the blitzes, the new, how to how to take on blocks, because it's, it's just a whole different concept of what you got to see out there, just learning what to look at.